and welcome my name's Sam and this is the Little Greenhouse Creates thank you for joining me today and this is our final card for this stamp set of the week um, hang an ornament we are at long last using the dies uh, to create these beautiful baubles so let's change the camera and we can begin so there's a lot of detail on this card uh, so this is a slightly more uh, up once upgraded seems to be the wrong word it's a lot more detail in this card so let us get the supplies in and we can begin so here we go and as you can see there are a lot so I'm going to start with my scrap of piece of paper so that's the first thing scrap piece of paper I have a piece of white now this is two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths uh, and the cardstock behind it which is melon mambo is three and a quarter by five so let me go and let's measure that again because i'm not actually quite sure that is oh so it's three and two eighths by four and seven eighths so that's three and two eighths by four and seven eighths so it's not quite a quarter so there we go now what I have got here believe it or not is I've also got it in the daffodil delight and the um, coastal cabana reason being is I couldn't decide when I was cutting everything up which colors I wanted to go where so we are sticking with this at the moment so I then have a piece of white cardstock which measures three and three quarters by five and a half and then I have my normal piece of cardstock which measures eight inches by five and three quarters so that's three and three quarters by five and a half and eight inches by five and three quarters okay so it could sit on the card like that and I think that's what we're going for but I have other colors should I change my mind I also have put those aside I also have um, two pieces three pieces of one eighth of an inch piece of colored card each in the three colors so melon member melon mambo daffodil delight and coastal cabana okay Friday and I still can't talk right um so it depends i think that's what we're going to look at let's move this over so you can actually see what i'm talking about sorry i'm off camera so i think that's the way i'm going to look at it but again i have those two colors should i change my mind i have a piece of paper for sentiments and then i have three scraps of the same three colors and that are for the or those are for the dyes so what they will be is we have some bauble dies. Uh, we have the tops of the um, bauble. So let's have a look. So this one here creates the underline one here. This one here is the top. My camera has decided to go out of focus all of a sudden. Let's see if I can. There we go. Bring you back into focus. And then I have got a cut out for the sentiments all right so and last but by no means least i have this embossing folder which is like a tartan embossing folder i will find out the correct name for it but it is um yeah it's quite a good um, it's a good embossing folder it makes a difference from it being the circles um, and I'm going to run through my first two pieces. So that's the larger piece and the smaller piece. Um, they're going to be run through the embossing folder and they will come back looking like these two pieces. Okay. So that puts those two out of the way. And that's back in its box. Okay, so the next thing to do is to take the scrap piece of paper and we are going to stamp our three um, baubles. So we have got, I'm going to do one of each. So I'm going to 
first of all take them out of the box so for some reason I seem to have put them back so we're doing well normally I leave them all out so let's get whoops one there and then the other one on two there so I'm going to do two in this design as you know I'm got I'm going to do all three in this design so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the daffodil delight okay that goes down there and so that's the daffodil delight take my chamois and clean it off and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the Costa Cabana which goes down here okay and then last but by no means least I'm going to do the same with the melon mumbo and then that can go in the middle like so there we go and then what we will do is we will pop the die which is this one over and run it through the machine let's clean that And then we need to cut our um, sentiment. So I'm going to have Merry, Merry, and then all is Merry. So the left hand bauble will have the word Merry, the right hand bauble will have Merry, and the middle bauble will have all is Merry. So what I'm going to need is a piece of my uh, post it note, which I'm going to cut in half. So the first thing is if I'm going to do Merry on the right, I'm going to cover up all is merry with my post-it note okay like so I'm then going to take my melon mambo cover it up tap it with my ink pad and then I'm going to cover the word merry as far right as possible like so then the uh, banner will go over making sure that the merry is on the left hand side when I've done that and cut it out I'm then going to clean my sentiment and I'm going to cover it up again with a clean post-it note and this time I'm going to stamp it in the daffodil delight but I will this time make sure that the merry is far to the right that will go there like so and then that will go over like that okay and then that just leaves me the all is merry to be stamped in the coastal cabana and then that will go all there and then that one will go over like so and as always I have already cut all of these out so let's get rid of those put that up there and I can bring the supplies in so I have cut out my uh, coastal cabana I've cut out a yellow and I have made the yellow sentiment merry it's far over to the right and that will sit on there and then I've attached myself a little pink melon mumbo pink top to that bauble um, I've then got my daffodil delight bauble okay that's that one Let me go on that side then I've got my I've cut out my melon mambo strip my sentiment which is to the left which basically means now that when I do that I can put my 
third bulbul over the top and it shouldn't cover up anything. So what I wanted to do is show you that once you've cut out your coloured bauble, it still holds into the paper. Reason being is it's got that facility where you have a little sign that says pull and the person pulls it off and reveals the pattern behind. If, of course, like we're doing here, we're just using the actual bauble, then we just need to take a pair of our scissors and just very carefully snip the three little tags that are holding it into place. There we go. And then I have the coastal banner, the piece sentiment, and then I have my yellow piece that goes on the top. Okay, so I'm just going to put the video on hold for two seconds and I will glue those down. Bear with me. Okay, so I've done two of the three, so I just thought I would do the other one on camera. So basically what I've done is a tiny dot at the top, picked it up with my pick your tool, which goes along there. A straight line that goes across there gives you the glue for the detail. And then I'm going to turn this over and again I'm just going to draw a line across this and now can be attached as well. So we literally now have just to assemble the card together. So let's get that done. Right, so I am going to attach my piece of the smaller of the two pieces of uh, embossed paper onto the backing card. So that's using the multi purpose because it gets into all the nooks and crannies. Come on. I think this one actually might have run out. Yes, it has. Thankfully, I do have another one in front of me. I'm often asked why I have so many glues out of packets and that is basically the reason because when I'm halfway through a job I really don't want to have to be going and undoing the paper which of course does happen sometimes stop go and undo everything and then restart again okay so the next thing to do is to attach our piece of um, border paper so again I'm just going to run a line down here and I'm going to attach it over the melon member as well as the white and I'm going to turn it over and with my scissors just cut it off okay let's make sure I've got some glue down there and if I haven't I'll add a bit more Okay, so the thing to do now is to attach the baubles. Now, before I had them one, two, and three, but I'm thinking I might put them just in the corner, like so, and then have that over the top. I'll just move that one out slightly. So you've got the Mary there, and that one slightly. So the Mary is there. Right, so then what you will do is you will attach these two. So let's just, come here, I'm going to run a line of glue along there and tilt it slightly down to the bottom and across. And then I'm going to do exactly the same again, a bit. And to bump it up so they are literally touching and then this time I'm going to raise this one with some dimensionals so let's bring those in Two. and I'm just going to put one at the bottom and one at the top and then that can 
go, oh hello, stick down. <laughs> that can go into the corner there. So then you've got this little bit more of this green showing than you had with the yellow on this one. Right, so the next thing to do is to fold my daffodil die in half. For those of you that like to score, it's at the four inch mark. Then I'm going to attach my second piece of embossed paper to the front and I will use my um, liquid glue again. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do that way. So that's the back. I quite like the sound effects that the uh, paper and the glue make when they run across each other. Okay, so the other thing you can do is to stick this down flat like so, or we can raise it on dimensionals. So I think on this occasion, the other one was flat. Let's raise this one. One. Two. So literally one in each corner and one in the middle, and that should help keep everything into place. So as I said, with the dies, these cards are a little bit more time consuming. Um, but I do feel like it's worth it. They are quite quick, really, once everything is cut out. So there is our card. So there's one. And there's the one previously. Obviously, this one looks a little bit more bubbly and higher because of all the bubbles. But there you go. They are the cards that we created this week. Well, that's this week. Let's bring in the other ones. So they're the ones for today. Then on Wednesday, we did these ones. And then on Monday, we did these two. So thank you ever so much for joining me for this week. I will be back next week with a new stamp set um, and some new designs. So thank you ever so much, as I say. And whatever you do for the rest of the weekend, have a lovely weekend. And I hope to catch up with you soon. Bye. Oh, don't forget, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, please press the subscribe and like buttons so as not to miss any future videos. Thanks ever so much. Bye.